established for ourselves, and we got to find some way to work our way out of it. Other than that, I don't have a lot to say. I thought Lou came in and did a great job for us. I thought Lou, Lou was instrumental in the win. You know, obviously Steve played great. Larry did some good things and stuff, but overall, that's that's not that we're not gonna. If we're going to be a good team, we're going to have to do much better than that. That's the bottom line. You know, so we get a win out of it, but some kind of way we got to, we have issues that we have to resolve if we're going to be a good team. Every night we can't come out and play like we're world champs for 12 minutes or 16 minutes, and then within the five minute period, give it all that. It's disappointing. So we got to find a way to do a better job with that. That, no, no. For some reason we can't. We don't make it easy out there for us. We, we build up a great lead, then we give it away. With the way this one transpired, does this feel like a win? Uh, no. To be honest with you, it doesn't. Uh, you know, but it counts as a win, so we'll take it. But at the same time, we got to work on some things. We got to figure out why we're giving up these leads, why we start off hot and then we end up uh, going through a cold sprint, uh, uh, spell there. So just got to figure it out. What was said in the locker room at halftime? Uh, well. Coach was, coach was pretty upset about the lead that we gave up, which, which very well, you know, very well should have been because we we, we, we gave up a, a uh, 20 some mile lead and they cut it to 12 at the half, so definitely didn't feel great. But uh, then they kept it going, so we just got to do a better job. Of, there's so many possessions in the game we play, so a lot of teams are, are you know, they know that and they know they got a chance to really score the ball. Uh, so, but we just got to try to defend those guys and make sure we don't give up those leads. What's your theory on how to correct that? Got to watch them and figure it out. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not totally sure, but uh, we can, well, I'm pretty sure we can figure it out. It's four games in a row. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not fun. You know, so you got to keep our focus uh, for 48 minutes. We got to play, got to play just the same as we do in the first quarter. You know, four quarters. You know. We can't get comfortable. We can't go. We can't go to a different strategy. We can't. Fix, we can't. You know, just gotta keep it consistent. Will it be good maybe to get on the road a little bit to maybe get a different mindset for this team. Now? Yeah, it's always fun to go on the road. <laughs> you know, for one, we just got the tendency to get more, get a lot of rest. Uh, in those in, in different cities, um, you know. But uh, we've been home for a while. Now we're going to road play some places. You know, a few couple tough teams. I mean, you know, start off in Indiana. You know, so we got, we got to go out there with, 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 with a great focus and uh, try to get those wins. Don't look in the eye, the intensity that it needs when it, it goes up big and it has a lead on the I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear the first part of that. Uh, how, how does this team maintain its intensity after blowing big leads uh, the last couple of games? How, how is this team going to have to maintain intensity from, from here on out? Well, we just, uh, you know, we have a lot of growing to do. I think um, you know, we do a great job coming out and starting the game and um, often when we build ourselves a lead we, we take our foot off the gas and that's human nature but you have to be professional and not allow that to affect your performance and uh, we have to do a much better job of having a killer instinct and uh, just trying to take opportunities when we have them and knock teams out. Can a killer instinct be developed? Uh, you know I think more than anything <coughs> we just uh, uh, relaxed. I think at times we've had a killer instinct this season, and you know we've just kind of uh, you know been too uh, complacent or relaxed the last you know kind of month or so. So we got some work to do, and uh, at the same time, you know we're we're doing fairly well. I mean, this is a team that was picked to to not be in the playoff picture. So for us to be where we are is a, is a great accomplishment, and. Uh, we just have to continue to demand a lot of ourselves so that we can, you know, not give up games like tonight. We're l lucky to win, but we could have lost tonight. And, and if those type of uh, games come back to haunt us, uh, you know, we can give away kind of this, the overachievement that's that's happened so far. Coach seemed more frustrated than usual tonight about you know, kind of the events as they unfolded. What, what was he focused on? What was he trying to tell you guys? I would be frustrated too. You know, I mean, it's a, it's been a recurring theme uh, where we 
we come out and we play well to start a game and we get a nice lead, you got to have a good rhythm. And the other team is uh, struggling to cope and then we let them off the hook and they start to build momentum and, and now we've got a fight on our hands. So, you know, I think he was frustrated with that recurring theme again tonight and, uh, you know, it's something us as players got to just be more professional and, and be more prepared not to give up those situations. How did you assess the long sort of home stretch you've had here from December to, to about right now? It's okay. You know, we've won some games. We've beaten uh, the last two world champs. We've beaten, uh, you know, a few other teams. So uh, we've definitely had some poor performances and lost some games we'd have liked to win. But overall, we've won some games in the stretch. Here, so uh, we got to think of some positives as well. I feel like when the league did get down a little bit, that it was get it under control this time for like you stop the game and call time out. It, it, it wasn't it wasn't like it just went in three minutes. It was yeah, it, you know it was, and you know I think you know you, what but what happens is you know team comes in off a of back to back. Um, they they, they don't back. feel great. We jump all over them, and they're about ready to get back on the bus. And then you know you, you take your foot off the gas, and, and then they start to get this jolt of energy because they're like, wow, we got a chance here and you know they're feeling good about themselves and all of a sudden they, they sense an opportunity. So we have to be more professional in those stretches where you know a team's uh, ready to lay down, so to speak, and uh, chalk it up as a loss and instead we give them light and, and energy. Would you say it becomes kind of a mental thing too, you know, knowing that this is something you guys want to concentrate on, it creeps in your head and almost makes you more conscious of it during the game? Um, I don't think, you know, I don't think that should be the case. I mean, uh, it's just a matter of going out and making plays and, and being professional. And, 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 and to me, it's not even about pressure, like I got to make the shot. It's just I got to focus on defense you know I got to be there for my teammates I got to know the rotation I got to know the assignments uh, offensively be aggressive you know be decisive and if, if you don't make the plays you know uh, that's that's okay because you know you try you're being aggressive and you're focused what happens to us is I think we just lose our focus we lose our, our energy and that snowballs into energy and um, you know now we compound it and um, you know and then obviously when they get there their confidence up, you know, that compounds it even more. So I don't know about it being something where you're like, oh, here we go, the slippery slope. I, you know, I think it's just that we we don't, you know, we don't, we don't really grab the game by the neck again when we feel it's sliding like that. You don't be worried about just the general decision making as a team, not just mm, individuals I mean, or anything. But no, I mean, we're, we're not. We don't make the smartest decisions all the time, and, and I think uh, we got to realize that we're not more talented than most teams. The reason we win is because we play well together, and you know there's a very fine line between us playing well and beating the majority of the teams in this league, and us being a little bit out of out of rhythm and out of sync, and being in the lower half of teams in this league. So um, we have a very small you know, room for error as far as being one of the top teams or playoff teams, so to speak, and being a team that can get beat any night. So um, we just got to keep that in mind and go out there and feel really fortunate for the position we're in and the opportunity we have when we play well together, when we're focused, and uh, you know, hopefully well, that, that message will sink in here. Or maybe we just need to get some energy back. Maybe we're just in a little bit of a rut, whatever it is. At the same time, we've won a lot of games this year, so we should feel some sense of positive fives as well.